Now I'm always looking for value for money and this budget projector from Godi may just be the best value budget projector that you can currently buy. So let's take a closer look. Okay, my friends, this is the budget projector we're talking about, and it's from a company called Godi. Now, what is a budget projector? For me, it needs to have a couple of points. It needs to be at least 1080p. In this day and age, in 2020, I don't think a normal standard plug-in projector should be anything less than full resolution. The other thing it needs to be is under a certain price point. Otherwise, you may as well go and buy one of the leading brands. And so for me, in the UK, it needs to be under £200. In the US, it probably needs to be under $250. So this one from Godi does tick the box on both of those points. Now, there's also a couple of promotions on at the moment, which will take the price even lower. Particularly in the UK, it's a great deal. It will take it from 199 right down to 155 There's a £45 discount. And in the US, there's a $15 coupon, which will take it from 239.99 to 224.99. So not quite as good a deal, but it will still be money off. Now, there are also some nice features about this projector. You've got the 5-volt USB output, which means that you'll be able to power a fire stick without having to plug it in separately. You've also got that touch panel on top and there's this little kickstand which comes down to help you position and again you can change that so that it goes up and down. Focusing is manual with the lever on top and there's also a manual keystone correction which doesn't offer that much difference but it's around about 5 or 10 degrees and as you can see it will just straighten up the image if you've got your projector mounted up high. One of the things you'll notice straight away when you fire this machine up is that it's very, very bright and the contrast ratio is very good also. It's 6,800 lux and it has a contrast ratio of 7,000 to 1. Now, if you are reading the information via the links in the description, you'll see that it says about image size up to 300 inches. I don't know why these manufacturers do that because I don't know anyone that's got a 300 inch screen and this would look awful at that type of size. I'm projecting this onto a 100 inch screen and I think it does a remarkably good job again for the price. Some of the things that you'll notice on some lesser models are the edges tend to be very, very blurry and on this this machine it doesn't look too bad at all. I will show you it with text around the edges in just a second. I was really impressed with the color accuracy here. This is a review that I did of my office setup and it was very accurate to the actual YouTube video which I shot and also the next one which was a lot more saturated. I got some more blues and purples in but again it was very very accurate to what it looked like on my screen at the time and when I watch this back on the TV it's also very similar. So very impressed and something which is not normal with cheaper projectors. Here's another shot which I think it does very well. You've got the detail in the grass and you've also got the detail in the sky. Now, one thing with these type of projectors is they're not going to be the quietest machines around. You are definitely going to pick up some fan noise and here it is no different. What I would say is I'm about a metre and a half to two metres away and I'm getting a reading of around about 49 decibels. One thing that this has got is a very, very good and very loud speaker built in that drone footage just really lifts any video to a whole new level. It just gives you a different perspective on an area, a holiday, whatever you're doing, it just shows something different that you walking around cannot possibly show. So the sound really surprised me. I wasn't expecting it to be so clear and so loud. However, like I've said on many videos before, my friends, you do need to think if you are projecting an image 100 inches onto a wall or onto a screen, do something a little bit better with the sound. So get a sound bar, get a 5.1 surround sound system. It will definitely give you that home theatre feel far more. But I've been really impressed with the image, the quality, the colours. I think it's really good. However, let's talk about now the detail of the focus. One thing that often is missing on these cheaper projectors is the fact that as soon as you go to the extremes of the screen then the focus just disappears you've almost got like a circle a radius in the middle which is great but the focus around the edges tends to be weaker now what I found on this one is it's a lot better than a lot of the other ones that I've seen definitely we're losing some focus in the bottom uh, strip there along the bottom it's definitely not as clear but that strip along the top was surprisingly clear and I think it's definitely better than a lot of the cheaper projectors that I've reviewed previously.
My dog obviously is in prime position underneath the desk waiting to go out on her walk. But this is the type of image that you just saw but from a distance. And I think it's looking pretty sharp other than that bottom row. So my friends, in summary, I do think that this represents very good value for money if you can get it at that discounted price. It's got a great image and the sound is really good and there's some features on here which you would expect on a more expensive machine. Hope this video has been helpful for you guys. If it has, then please do give it a thumbs up and if you're not already subscribed, then hit that red button and I really do look forward to seeing you on the next video.